All right, now let's talk about going into restore mode, which if we look at the uh, finished product, flip over here and here's all the tasks um, that other people have put in. Um, and they're, they've been X'd off here in the live mode. So this is fairly simple. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. We just changed some buttons here. And in fact, I want the stop button out of here in the uh, finished product. So I'll probably end up doing that later. But let's take a look. One of the reasons I pushed this off um, until now is because really all we need to do uh, is uh, not really all we need to do, but a really good starting point is going to be to just copy this build case. So let's go ahead and do that. Copy this, paste it below. We'll just change this name to restore. And we've already got a lot of the pieces in place here. For one, all we need to do is change this status equals one to status is equal to two. So this will only show us the inactive tasks. And let's go ahead and just take this button out, leave the column just for consistency um, which, with the uh, table layout. And then here, we're gonna need to change the, uh, we'll change what's on the button, which I think I'm using refresh. That's the icon I'm using. And then uh, for the class here, let's change this to restore, save that. Um, and then now we need to write some JavaScript to handle that. Um, so first let's go to the index. And uh, we need to give this here a uh, class. And let's go ahead, actually I mean an ID. So ID equals, and we'll call this button mode. And uh, what we're gonna need to do, let's give it a data attribute. Data, we'll call this mode equals, and let's just put in an initial value. So this is, um, it's gonna be the opposite of what mode we're in, if that makes sense. We'll call this restore. So this button would send us into restore mode. And what we'll do is we'll have JavaScript um, dynamically change this mode to log or live, I don't remember what I called it in the other project, um, thus changing the functionality of the button, which will make sense here in a second. Let's go ahead and save that. Go over to JavaScript. Let's start a new event here. Button mode. On click function and close that off. All right, so this is a link uh, mainly because I wanted it to look like a link instead of a button. So we are going to need to send the event through here and do event event default, thus killing off any, you know, it's not gonna refresh the page or do anything like that. All right, now we wanna get the mode. So var var mode equals this data. And we're gonna get the mode. So this is gonna be the mode we're going to go into. So now we need to do an if, if mode is equal to restore, then do something else, do something else. So what we can do, we've got this build function here. Let's go ahead and send it a value. Um, let's send it the mode because this will be 
because this will allow us to change which mode we're doing here. Because we could build another function for restore mode. But why not just reuse this one? So let's just go ahead and concatenate mode on the end here. All right, save that. Now we do need to pass something through to this every time we're using build. So um, go ahead and add build. Do that here. And down here. Could have done a find and replace, that would have been easy. All right. Save that. Now what we need to do is, we need to run, if this is, um, if the button is in restore mode, we need to send the page into restore mode. So build restore. And then else, we're going back into the other mode, the live mode, build, build. Save that. Um, but now, okay, since the button, the uh, data object here, or uh, attribute, is deciding which mode we're going to go into if you click on the button. So we need to update that. So once you're in restore mode, we need to change the uh, mode like this dot data mode. We need to give it a new value. And uh, we'll just go ahead and give that, we'll call that live. So that'll send us back into live mode, copy this. But if we're going into live mode, let's send the button back into restore mode. Sounds a little backwards. So the button's gonna be, the button mode is gonna be the opposite of the mode we are in currently. Um, let's save that. I know we've got another thing we gotta do. Let's go ahead and see where we're at here. Refresh. Okay. And there you go. So you see it's toggling between restore mode, which we'll need to change the color of that, um, and live mode. But something that you'll notice is our button isn't changing, uh, or the label isn't. So let's, let's address that really quick. Go to the index. Let's wrap this here in a uh, span. Give it an ID. Uh, make sure you wrap this uh, closing around the word restore. And we'll call this label mode. That's short for label anyways. Save that. Flip over to JavaScript. And do label mode dot HTML. This will need to be store. Sorry. Live. Go ahead and copy this. Sit down here and change this to restore. Now let's take a look. Refresh. Oh, missing something. Oh, we didn't put the hashtag before. Label mode. Let's save that. Fresh. There you go. So the button changes to which mode we want to go back to. Uh, 